clean the house. <laughs> yeah, yes. so much more than that. Choose. Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for new heavens and a new earth where it dwelleth righteousness. Wherefore, beloved, seeing that you look for such things, be diligent that you may be found of him in peace, without spot, blameless. And account that the long suffering of our Lord is salvation. Even as our beloved brother Paul, also according to the wisdom of given unto him hath written unto you. See, this is why I like to bring up Paul, because Peter likes to bring up Paul in his letter. As also in all his epistles, speaking in them of things in which are some things hard to be understood, which they that are unlearned and unstable wrestle with, as they do also the other scriptures. <laughs> Peter's being honest with us. We wrestle with this book. We wrestle with his word because we see in it how badly we fail. And we see in it the prophecy being told us to change, to repent, to stop what we've been doing that we've been comfortable in and go do stuff that we're not so comfortable with because the stuff we're comfortable with is going to go away. And we better be okay with that. We better rejoice in that. No, what happens to us? Oh dear, this is going to go away. IBM is going to disappear. I was told, and I was, why aren't you trying to get a, a full-time job, you know, a permanent job at IBM? I said, because I don't want one. Why not? I said, because it's history. What? IBM's never going to go out of business. <laughs> Tell that to me. That's, this is what you heard me say in 77. Was I a prophet? No. It's just the nature of things. They go away. Why are you investing so much in stuff that goes away? Why aren't you investing in something that lasts forever? You and what you can become through the kingdom of God through you and with him. And how can you change a life? And how many people might you be able to save? Instead of wallowing in your own crap. I'm going to skip to verse 18. The closing. Grow in grace and in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. What a nice statement, huh? What a valentine. That beats any greeting card I've ever got. Growing grace and in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, to him be glory both now and forever. How do you give him glory? You give him you. You allow him to change you. You stop being worried about stuff going away. You understand it's going to, including you. The announcement I have a little later is about a death. We never expected her to go away quite so suddenly, and she did. Like a thief in the night, our time is going to be done. We have no control over it whatsoever. Grow in grace. And in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior. Change. Repent. And that's my bunch of messages on prophecy. If you want to go hear the radio show about these prophets in the end, prophecy in the end times, you find more of that. I like cartoons too. We just got done watching WandaVision. That was better than the prophecy in whatever radio shows you listen to, because at least that was faintly real. <laughs> it was a cool show. It's done! Stop enjoying your mud so much. 
Heavenly Father, help us as we stop, as we try to stop enjoying our own mud, as we recognize the transitory nature of things we put such value on. Father, I want to thank you so much for my granddaughter, and thank you for getting all those bum VHS tapes out of the out of the cellar, because now my son is able to live there too. They were taking up his room as well. They were nice to have for a season, but that season is done. And I thank you for the newness, the joy that you gave me instead. Because I chose not to put a value on the old things. I chose to put a value on what you were giving me. Help us each do that. Help us do this every day. Revive us again. As we look into your word, as we let your word shine on those areas we need to change, and shine on the paths we're supposed to take. And God help us, and God help us, and God help us. So many of my Irish grandmothers used to say, and, and aunts, God help me, God help us. Indeed. Help each of your priests here today as they strive to walk in your, in your light, on your path, and do your will here on earth as it is done in heaven. And I ask that blessing once again, Father, in your name, in the name of your precious Son, Jesus, in the name of the kingdom that you have given us, the Spirit, Holy Spirit, to guide us in our daily life. Amen. Amen. We don't have... Uh, sure, yeah. Thanks, folks. Um, we will see you next week.